I want to talk about bootstrap applied to time series. So let's say we're interested in the question, what is my hydration over time? And I've collected a sample. So the population might be all of your hydration uh, over all time. So you might have to collect lots and lots of samples for your entire life to get that. So that's very, very hard to do. So instead, what I've gone ahead and done is I've collected my hydration over six weeks. So week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, and I've gone ahead and made nice colors for them. What's the problem with using this as our original sample and applying bootstrap sampling from it? The problem is that we're very interested in the time nature of this distribution. So in this case, we're very interested in what happens as we go from week to week. So we want to be able to capture this time nature, the sequential nature, and the way that we're sampling. One way that we can do this is called moving blocks. And there are lots of ways to do this, but this seems to be the simplest way. So moving blocks. The first step that you need to do in moving blocks is you need to set your block size. So for example, we can go ahead and set block size equal to three. This will mean that you need to divide your initial time series data into blocks of size three. For example, the first three happens to be a block of size three. The second three also does. The third three also does. And then the last three also does. So in this case, we start off with six data points that we could sample from. But because of our moving blocks, we've transformed these six data points into one, two, three, four data points. And we sample from these data points independently. So we go ahead and we do sampling with replacement. So for example, we might get the first block and we might also get the second block. It's also very interesting on what we do with these blocks. Once we sample them with replacement, we go ahead and we stitch them together. So we take block one, and sorry, I'm not gonna sort of code the colors here, and we stitch it onto block two. So what would the numbers that we get here would be? So we get one, two, three, that makes sense. And then block two, two, three, four. So notice once again, we can get the same data point multiple times in our bootstrap samples, just like we did with replacement. But we also get the sequential nature. We get the two, three, four, and the one, two, three in the block size.